Hey y'all and good morning. I just got out of my MLS meeting and I'm gonna head to Big Lots now. I'm just gonna go check out and see what they got and then head to Dollar Tree because as I told you, I've been watching DIY videos uh, made from Dollar Tree stuff and I'm just like, I'm kind of obsessed about it right now. Like I've been just watching them and binge watching and stuff. So I thought, let me go check out the Dollar Tree over by the mall because that is a bigger Dollar Tree. Maybe it's better, I don't know. And I think it's better because it has more stock and it has more merchandise in it. So that'll be kind of interesting just to kind of see what all they have and if they have similar things to the things I've seen in the videos. And then I'm also gonna go to Big Lots like I just said because I watched another video of some folks going to Big Lots and the stuff was like super cheap there. So I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I went to a Big Lots. So I'm gonna go check that out. I mean, hot chocolates over on that side. I have to, uh, guys, guys, in my defense, I have to get a Starbucks gift card anyway, okay? So, I have to get a couple Starbucks gift cards for some giveaways that I just did. And, yeah, so, there you go. I'm at Big Lots! And already, it's looking a little bit sad because, like, the light thing is out. But, okay, let's go check it out seen anything that caught my eye so far um storage bins are seven dollars here seems like an okay price nine dollars for these so i've got this like uh tv stand and it's it's only 170 that seems reasonable i mean i don't really need a tv stand though so they have furniture here, and they have beds. They have outdoor decor. I need to take a look at these pillows because I need some more pillows for the couch. Also for the outdoor chairs. I was watching a video and they had some pillows that were actually indoor pillows, but they were using them outdoors and they just put Scotchgard all over them, so that might work. Have you ever used Scotch Guard? I have not. <laughs> so I don't know if it would work or not. We got some patriotic decor going on here. That's kind of cute. And I did need a table in between my Adirondack chairs. It's $35. I don't know if that's a good price or not. I see that kind of matches my front door and my chairs. This is cute. I have no use for it though, so I'm not gonna get it, but that's cute. Oh, these are nice too. I don't know. I'm gonna guess how much this is. I'm gonna say $7. How far am I off? $12, well. See, I would have thought $7 is a good price. $12 is fine. It's not a bad price, but I just thought it was gonna be cheaper. These are nice pots. Again, I just don't know that they're necessarily that good of a deal. Because in all honesty, I have not priced pots to know like, oh my gosh, that's a steal. You know what I'm saying? So, like I think this one's really pretty. I think that's like just subtle color to it. I like it. I don't know. So far, I gotta admit, I'm a little underwhelmed. Lots of outdoor stuff here. This stuff looks super cute and is eye-catching, but I don't really do the whole sea coastal thing necessarily. Okay, I don't do these like little um, travel wagon things, but I think that's cute. And of course, I love the color. I mean, those are the color of our front door or close to it, and then of course white, so I think it just looks fresh. It looks it's very appealing, but again, I just don't do the beach theme. Some more cute pottery. So this says $8. And this says it's 30% off, so it's only $5.60. So that, yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, and the one that I kind of like is on clearance too. See, I'm drawn to this one because it's similar to the color of my front door, but I don't want to be too matchy-matchy, you know? kind of want to have some other stuff going on. Aww, that's kind of cute. Like a little water can ceramic planter. 
and I don't know for sure, but I wonder if like all the ceramic planters are on clearance or just just the ones that were over there. Because that one's thirty dollars and it's it's huge. So I think thirty dollars that's a good price and it's only twenty one if it's on clearance. I don't know, maybe I'll have to ask. It's like this one right here, I like it. But again, I'm I'm drawn to the teal aqua colors, so more furniture, there's some rugs back there. That's a cute table. I need it. I mean, we needed a bigger one, but that's cute. Some of y'all may be wondering like, well, what did you come here to buy? Well, really nothing. I just mostly came to look, but if I find something that maybe um, would be some simple, easy and inexpensive decor for the house, then yeah, I'm going to pick it up. And, but I kind of hesitate because I'm about to go to Dollar Tree and um, Dollar Tree has a lot of stuff. And as I'm saying that, I come down the aisle with all the cute stuff. So this caught my eye because it looks similar to Mexican pottery, but it's plastic. So that's not really my style. I would prefer like regular plates if I'm going to buy any. But this is cute. You could put like utensils in it and stuff. I guess this is an ice bucket. That's cute. And it says 20% off. Oh, that's melamine and select paper products, so. That's $18 though. I don't, see, I don't think it's worth $18. But that's cute for utensils too. And then the little napkin holder. Kind of drawn to this though. So it has the insulation um, little thing inside, mm -hmm. and then that's gonna keep your ice cold. I kind of would like it, but just don't know. Not for $18, just not feeling it. I do like these big trays down here though. Those are cute. Let's see how much these are. Serving tray, $14. See, I don't, I don't think that's bad for $14. Look how big that is. And so also, as I was just saying, I didn't think I'd buy anything. What? Look at all this cool greenery. This is super cool. Okay, so that, I mean, to me, that's just like fake. But some of this other stuff is cute. Normally when I shop, I just kind of have a price in mind about something like if I'm at a thrift store, discount store, or something like that. So I'm like, okay, I think this is cute, but like how much would I pay for it? So I put a price in my mind, and then I check the price. So I'm thinking like, I don't know, $5? $7. So <laughs> I knew as soon as I said $5, it was probably going to be 7 But, so that's, I mean, it's, it's cute, but it's not something, I don't know. Uh, it's not something I'm just like, yes, but I see some other things like this one, this one's kind of cute, and then I also, well, I thought this one was one by itself, but it's not, so not really thinking I'm going to get anything. I like this one as well. I think it's cute. Stuff like that where I just kind of said, eh, meh, meh. I mean, I like it. Okay, here is one thing that I do want to do. I'm not gonna buy anything today, but it's like make a little fairy garden out in my backyard. And I don't know like what area because we're actually taking down all the trees. But um, I just think these look fun. Like, and then I think when my nieces or the granddaughters come over or grandsons come over or nephews come over, they might like to play like with the little fairy garden and kind of like, move stuff around and I don't know maybe I just think that would be fun <laughs> here we go outdoor pillows so I like that one but it's $14 but it's only $10 that's not bad I could see that being on my like getting that one and then maybe getting that one or even that one. I mean, I quickly walk past the dog area because I don't have dogs. But I have cats. And I know they always like, like show these for dogs, but seriously, my cats like them too. I have some organizational stuff back here. I see Rubbermaid, but no Rubbermaid Brilliants that I love. The hangers are about the same price. Wait, that's eight hangers for $5. I think that's almost cheaper than Dollar General. 
the hangers that I use at my house are the black ones that have the like they're, they're actually just like this so you can like turn the top well can you turn the top of this one yeah okay <laughs> so I like it that you can turn the top so when you hang up your clothes if you um, if you're like me and a little bit OCD I like to hang my clothes up all facing the same way and so then if you hang it up on a hanger that doesn't have a turning top to it then if you've hung it up the wrong way then it's like oh you know I've got to waste two more seconds of my life turning it around but seriously so I, I do like it all facing the same way so I like those kind of hangers that you can turn the top so if you hang it whatever way you could just oh it's the wrong way let me just turn the hanger that being said I've collected all my hangers from JC Penney's when they give me the clothes I'm like can I keep the hanger they say yes I take the hanger home but now I kind of want to um, switch to the velvet hangers like that and um, in fact I'm gonna take a picture of that price because when I'm at Dollar General next time or Dollar Tree then I'll know if it was a good price or not um, based on like you know when you see something like uh, I don't know that sounds like a good price but then when you go see it somewhere else for cheaper then you can know because I took a picture of it you'll know like oh actually that wasn't cheaper I could have gotten it cheaper over there so that's kind of how I do my little price you know price checking if you will and now I'm in a dangerous aisle because I'm on the um, like school aisle where they have all like the school supplies and stuff stuff that I absolutely do not need in my life but I'm like no I'm not gonna do it that's how I feel though I feel like drawn to it so okay and here's another aisle that's just like like I don't I don't need any I don't need anything but I'm just like I could make something and I need to measure it so I need a measuring tape even though I have 12 at home and oh we have like like as seen on TV type stuff so you know I'm a sucker for that for show sure. but I don't need I don't know stop stop okay here's something that did catch my eye I do need more baskets. This is cute. It's eight dollars though. Actually, it's not. Yeah, it is eight dollars. That one's eight dollars. And then there's like a little one. Maybe I'll come back for the eight dollar bins. I like to put my stuff in baskets. There's some more baskets right there. Don't need any cleaning products right now. Look, it says 20% off. This one's cute. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. The prices here, okay. They're not, I'm not like, wow. I'm just not. Um, I do like some of these baskets. I think this one's fun looking. I like them, but um, not like, oh, I gotta get it today, that kind of thing. My favorite one is gonna probably be this one. It's gonna be $9.60 on clearance because it's $12 regular price, 20% off. I saw that tray up there that I liked as well. Um, these baskets down here look cute too but I'm just I don't I don't know I don't really feel like I need to get those today and so I'm gonna pass I know where they are and I know what store carries them now been inside big lots now I can say yes I've been here and I'll, co I'll come back if I need those I literally thought I was just gonna zoom out of the store right now but I came upon the pillows. What? It's kind of cute, but it's um, not very filled. Stuffed. It's not very stuffed. How much is it? $25? No. No, thank you. I agree. Let's stay home. And at these prices, you're going to stay home here. Of course, I see <laughs> something with cats on it. For mama. There's some cute pillows here. Nothing's really like grabbing me, though. This to me, I like it, but it looks like a living room pillow versus a bedroom or bed pillow, you know, like. So if I'm hesitating, I know I should just not buy it. Cause you just feel, it has to be like a heck yes. Um, and if it's not, then, then I'm just buying it to buy it. I'm not buying it because I'm like, yeah, you know, and it has to be a combination of like a really good deal and I like it, you know, that kind of thing. All right, here's the deal. Big Lots was fine. 
that's just it it was fine I don't think I'll really have a need to come over here now the the outdoor furniture that seemed like a really good price and there are a couple things that seem like a reasonable price but it just it it probably won't be my first thought um, when I need to buy something okay so here's the deal it was fine it was just it was fine it was not like wow we're amazing or anything like that it was just fine I'm gonna head over to Dollar Tree now this is the bigger Dollar Tree we do have one in South Mesquite that is smaller and I say smaller it just has less stock less merchandise but uh, this is the bigger one it has a lot more stuff in it so I'm hoping that there are things that I've seen in the videos that I've been binge watching that I can find here but again this big lots you got lots of stuff I don't know if it's big but got lots of stuff hitting up all the discount stores today already I have seen a couple things that I've seen in the DIYs so that's awesome um, this one is definitely better stocked and has a lot more merchandise to choose from so I'm just gonna take a gander I did go ahead and get a basket kind of setting myself up <laughs> to buy something <laughs> but it's okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through the store pretty quickly because I do have some other things that I want to do today but this is kind of it's kind of fun everything's a dollar one thing that a lot of people make on the DOI things that I watch are these tiered stands well you know I'm obsessed with tiered stands so I was hoping to find the pie plates to use and the rolling pin that they use I don't see it anywhere so I guess I'm not going to be making that today and by me I mean Marvin because let's be honest and let's be real with one another I'm the idea person and he's the maker person well they do have this and then if you like attach like a little rod in between that would make a tiered stand a little bigger than I was thinking but hey it would work let's see I don't see a rolling pin and the rolling pin is essential it's vital to this project Plus it's only a dollar. I don't know if you can get that kind of dowel at like Hobby Lobby or Lowe's or whatever. I don't know if you can get it for a dollar there. So anyway, I'm going to continue to look around. Something else might catch my eye. Here is some of the craft stuff that I have seen in the videos, but not very much of a selection. I must need to keep looking in the store. Like a quick and easy craft to make something look more rustic is to just like wrap it with jute but I don't see any of the jute rope around. They have letter boards here. How funny is that? Okay, I've seen this in several videos, this garland and um, the, uh, the wreath forms. So that's cool. So I know that they have those here. I don't see any jute though. Hey jute. No, wrong, wrong word. Some more wire forms and some Spanish moss. Okay, okay, here we go. At least it has raffia, and it's got the popsicle sticks or craft sticks. Y'all know I'm a sucker for anything that's tiny, but I don't need any. I just bought some of these craft storage boxes yesterday to put my letterboard letters in, and it worked pretty well. Although I do, I want like a bigger one, like so they're all in the same thing. And then just all kinds of little craft things, which is fun. They've got the baker's twine in several different colors. Oh, I guess this is like a chalk game where you can like paintball, but it's chalk. Still don't see any jute anywhere unless I've just overlooked it. I did not find the jute or the twine and I did not find a rolling pin. So I'm actually gonna stop. Where am I close to? I might stop by Lowe's to see if they have um, dowels or maybe Hobby Lobby on the way back into the office to see what, what the cost is there because I don't want to just like totally I'm looking they have terracotta pots <laughs> cute but I don't want to totally just go Psh, they don't have it if I could get it at Lowe's or Hobby Lobby what if I could get it even cheaper you know so um, also I need to find who sells chalk paint I don't shop at Walmart don't get me started I don't shop at Walmart, so I gotta find somewhere else that sells chalk paint. I'm assuming Lowe's would sell it. 
I don't know. We shall see. All right, here's a recap of my morning so far. So I shopped at Big Lots, definitely underwhelmed. I was kind of like hoping and a lot more like, and then I was like, oh, well, I mean, okay. And then I came to Dollar Tree and you know, I mean, it, it had, it has much a larger selection, which I am excited about, but it didn't have the specific things that I came to look for, specifically the rolling pin, which I did not ask if they had it. They could have had it somewhere else and I just didn't see it, but I didn't see it. And they did have the little pipe uh, pan, pan things or whatever. So what I'm gonna do now is there's a Joann's Fabrics right over there, they're open. I'm gonna pop in there. No, I'm not. I'm actually gonna get a hot chocolate and I'm gonna go to Lowe's, I mean um, Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to work. Cause it's already 10.30. I'm back at the office now and I'm about to go inside. Just filmed hot chocolate chat, which I'll insert here. Welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. And yeah, it's going to be hot today, but it's, it's okay. Meaning whether it's hot or cold, I still drink hot chocolate. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to know, do you brush your hair or comb your hair like every day? And I'm not just talking in the morning. I'm talking like I got up, I got ready for the day, washed and dried my hair, combed it. It's now 1147 and it's tangling. But I don't have a comb or a brush with me, so I'm, I'm just having to comb it with my fingers. Back in the day, like taking it back old school, because I'm an old fool who's so cool. We used to carry around combs with us. In fact, it was like a thing to have a comb in the back of your pocket, or maybe just my friends. And I don't know when that stopped. Like when did we stop saying, hey, you don't have to brush your hair during the day. I know I'm not the only one whose hair gets tangled, so tell me guys, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, that was short and sweet and to the point, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. Do you comb or brush your hair during the day? Today, I'm just gonna be editing videos and kind of following up on some clients that I helped past several weeks and see if there's anything I can do for some new clients. Reach out and say, hey, need any help? I'm here and I can help. Okay, so they painted the back door and I'm gonna be honest, when they first started painting it, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. But now it looks really cute. Hey y'all, I'm about to head home and it's about 5.20 now and I've just been working all day. I have gotten some things done, not quite as productive as I would like, but that's okay. Not always gonna be super productive the whole time. I did some more brainstorming with Jessica, some trying to get some ideas about what I wanna do to help grow my business because I need to ramp it up like ASAP. So, uh, I can't think of anything else to share with you. Other than the fact, oh, I'm gonna go help, did I tell you this? I'm gonna go help Jessica show a house tonight because she's not done it before and so I'm just gonna kinda show her how I do it and um, be there to support her, because I like doing that. I like connecting and networking with um, my coworkers, with other agents and stuff like that. I just think it's, you know, it's fun. It's community over competition, am I right? So I'm gonna go home now and drop off my stuff, get ready to go and meet her. It's just a few minutes away, so I don't have to leave for a little bit here, but I'm gonna go check on Marvin and uh, see what we're gonna do for supper and give him a call really quick in case he wants me to go pick something up. And then yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey y'all, it's almost 10.30, so I'm gonna get ready for bed in just a little bit here. I do have some real estate work to do. I do need to upload a YouTube video because I have another one ready to go. And I need to work on wing mums. So I'm working all my businesses, getting all the things lined up and ready to go. Hey y'all, it's about 10.30 now and I'm gonna be getting ready to go to bed in a little while. I still have some things to do. For example, I need to work on wing moms. I noticed a couple of the posts were a little bit messed up so I need to fix those. I need to do a couple things for my real estate business because I've got a couple clients in the works and um, just a couple things that I need to do for that. And I need to upload for my YouTube channel. I just finished um, 
editing another video. So that's awesome. But I got to get it uploaded and I got to get it set so that everybody can see it and enjoy it. But that's what I'm doing right now. I shared a house with Jessica tonight and we're going to take a class together tomorrow. And yeah, so lots of great things happening and um, looking forward to an awesome day tomorrow. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great morning or afternoon or evening or whatever time you're watching this. And don't forget to be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.